Hey guys, welcome back. So today is whatever day of live miss it is. I don't even know what day it is anymore. We are officially in like the crazy busy home stretch of the holidays. We are prepping in today's vlog. Today is Monday and so I figured throughout the week I would just film myself kind of getting ready for the week and prepping for our trip this weekend. We leave on Friday for Austin, Texas. We are taking a two day road trip. We're gonna be there for 10 days so I'm just gonna like bring you along as I prep and kind of get things ready and do last minute holiday things. So first and foremost, we are starting off with a little actually, a rather large Bath and Body Works candle haul. Remember in one of my most recent vlogs, I'm, I don't know why the lighting is like so orange right now either, so I apologize. But in one of my um, recent vlogs, I talked to you guys about the candle sale I shopped. So my order finally came in today. It took like a week and a half to even ship. And yeah, finally came in today. So I have these candles, which is good because a couple of them are gifts that I got. I still have two big orders I'm waiting on that I'm like praying are here in time for our trip. I really don't want packages to get delivered and be here when we're gone, obviously, but I also have gifts for people that I'm so worried are not going to get here in time for our trip. It like gives me so much anxiety. I'm one of those people who, sorry, this is probably like stressful for you guys to see me talking with my hands with scissors in them. Scissor me. I'm one of those people who like tracks things and is updating tracking information and like getting, I don't know, super stressed about it basically as soon as I place the order. But I have a huge Sephora order, like huge, it's embarrassing, that I placed that I'm waiting on that has some gifts in it for my sister-in-law and for my friends. And then um, I have an order from Goriana, the jewelry as well, that I'm waiting on that Looks like maybe it might have gotten lost. So I don't know guys, I hope this stuff gets here. I hope that in this video you will see those two purchases get here. That's like all I can focus on right now. But at this moment I'm focused on these candles. So what do I got here? Um, okay, so the first one is this really pretty lavender marshmallow one. Hopefully you can see the, look how cute that is. I got a couple of these. So I got this one and then I got, where to go? This one, so cute. This one says mermaid wishes and it's the same like style. I also just realized that this like pink and blue looks really cute for like a baby boy, baby girl. Um, but I got these ones, I got this mermaid wishes ones for, or mermaid wishes one for Katora because we always used to like, we got really into that whole like mermaidy thing a couple years ago. Oh, and it actually smells really good. It has sparkling pink grapefruit, breezy sea fern and a dash of lily pad. It is definitely like beachy, but really fresh too. This probably isn't as entertaining for you guys since you can't actually smell them. I wish I could do like a scratch and sniff video for you guys, like that would be really cool. One day. Huh? So I got this Mermaid Wishes one for her, and then I got this Lavender Marshmallow one for me. Lavender Marshmallow just sounded a little intriguing to me. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I feel like my voice already sounds really manly today because I've been talking a lot and I'm still kind of feeling sick. And then when I said that just now, I felt very manly. Like, oh my gosh, this candle smells so good. But it really does smell so good. It's very marshmallowy, and I like lavender a lot too. Speaking of marshmallow, I also got another marshmallow fireside. This is like my favorite scent for the winter. I think this is the third or fourth one of these I've gone through this year, <laughs> or I burned through three of them already. Um, I also got three of these aromatherapy relax scents. This is one of Katura's favorite scents. Mm, I love it too. So I got her one, so I'm gonna give her this and the mermaid one as a gift for Christmas. And then I also got two more of the aromatherapy relax candles just for myself to have at home and be stocked up. I also got one of these aromatherapy comfort candles. This is one of my favorite scents. I love this like comfort smell. Mm, it's like, it's patchouli and vanilla and patchouli and it smells so good. So I also bought one of the single wicks of these the other day too, so I have two of those now. You guys, I was like a crazy candle lady a couple years ago and then I took a break and then I relapsed and I'm relapsing right now. I'm just glad at least a couple of those 
Christmas gifts made it. So now I just need to keep my fingers crossed. I don't know why the lighting here is so awful, but now I need to keep my fingers crossed and hope that my other two purchases get here in time. And yeah, okay, time to go get Christian. All right, it's the next day. I'm on my way to Target right now. I realized there was some setting on my camera that was not correct. So that's why the, the lighting yesterday looks so strange when I was doing those, like showing you the candles. Also, I love that I have this little stand in here so I can chat with you guys while I'm driving. This is like amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm headed to Target because Sephora has let me down and they have still not shipped my package. It's been like four days now and my order is not going to arrive to me by the time I leave for my trip. So I'm super bummed. Um, and with that, I need to get Christmas gifts for the people that had gifts in that order. So I'm headed to Target now to just pick up like a couple small things like candles, fuzzy socks, lip balm, stuff like that. I have 25 minutes until I have to go pick Christian up. I mean, not have to, he could stay a few minutes longer, but I like to go get him at that time. So this is gonna be a quick Target trip. We are going to run in, get what we need to get and head out. I can do it. I've done a Target trip in six minutes before. I don't like to brag, but I mean, I will say that I have done a Target trip in six minutes and I think that's pretty impressive. So yeah, we're gonna make this quick. I have to say, since I have a few minutes to be chatty while I'm driving, I have to say, now that I'm 24 weeks pregnant, I am hitting like the irritable stage. <laughs> Let me know if you experience that as well, but I feel like this last week, these last few days in particular, maybe it's just because it's so busy, like I got back from Texas and then I've been super busy and I'm trying to check, all, check off all these things from my to-do list and pumping out videos every day and getting ready for this other trip. The videos actually haven't been that like, I don't know, it hasn't been that much more of a workload, but it just feels like it's a very busy time right now and I feel like I have like zero patience at the moment. So within the last 24 hours alone, like I've like written in an angry customer service email and I have slammed my horn on a guy on the freeway who was like tailing my car and he was like, pulling up next to my car and waving and screaming at me and like wouldn't, I don't know why, he was mad I wasn't going fast enough or something and he wouldn't leave me alone so I just slammed my horn on until he drove away because I was like, I'm not playing games here with you. I'm not trying to get in an accident here. I'm pregnant and on the way back from a doctor's appointment and I'm not trying to do this right now. I've also just been on like a blocking rampage. Like if I get nasty comments, I am not engaging. If you guys uh, saw my Instagram stories last week, you might have seen that I got one nasty comment. I don't get nasty comments very often, but I got one last week about how I needed to be like not getting ultrasounds and I needed to be focused on toilet training Christian and getting him out of car seats and stuff. And I wrote with the person back and was basically like, he's a year and a half old. Why would I take him out of a car seat at this point? And then they go back and forth like trolls on the internet just like to go back and forth and have that dialogue so after that i set a rule for myself that i will not engage with like haters or negative comments whatsoever like if i get a negative nasty comment it is just getting deleted and the person's getting blocked i have no patience for it um there's a difference between like constructive feedback like i want to hear how what you guys want to see i want to hear how i can be better in these videos but i don't need people judging my parenting or um like i uploaded that labor vlog with my sister and i got a couple color or i got a couple comments on it about the difference in our races and I'm just like, and like questioning how we're even family um, and not in a curious way, but like laughing at the difference. And I was like, you know what? Screw this. I am not even, I'm not doing that. I don't have time for it. Nope, not, nope. You're getting deleted, you're getting blocked. I just have no patience for it. So I've been feeling a little testy. Jordan calls this my alter ego when I get angry. Jordan calls it my alter ego, Livy from the block. And Livy from the block has a lot less patience than Olivia does. And she is a little snappier. So Livy from the block has been coming out more since I've been 24 weeks pregnant. Um, which is fine, because sometimes Olivia can be a little soft and sometimes Livy from the block needs to come out. So 
let me know if you've experienced the same thing. That's my big rant. I wanted to address my lack of patience. I have patience with all of you guys though. Like, I love you guys. And 99% of people on here are super supportive. I'm actually really thankful for it because I feel like I don't get much hate on here. At least, I mean, maybe I do, but not, not what I view as hate. Um, but when I get that 1%, man, I just got no patience, no time, no time. We're busy, people. That's what she said. No time. But she did. No time, guys. We have six-minute target runs to do. I can't be sitting out here dealing with negative comments. <laughs> so that's my rant. I'm almost, almost a target. <laughs> It is crazy how dark it gets outside. I would not normally want to film when it is this dark, but I felt weird not wrapping up my Target trip. So I got a bunch of goodies, some stuff I needed, some stuff I didn't need. I found the cutest little zip footed sleeper onesies for this baby. Um, I got them in newborn size, so I'm excited for that because with Christian, I felt like we always needed more of the zip-up sleepers for him. And then I got some little baby newborn hats too. But now I'm going to pick up Christian from daycare. Feel bad. Mama's running a few minutes behind schedule, but that's okay. We'll get it all done, guys. We will get everything done this week that we need to get done, I promise. Oh, I get a hug? Thank you. I go. Oh, Dan, okay, I can take this for you. Oh, I gotta put you in the car, see, Baba. We, we can cuddle when you get home. I go. You want the light off? Uh. It will turn off when we start driving. Oh, I Oh, really? I Oh, really? I No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, I love you. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, I love you. We're still going home, Bubba. Yeah, we're going home. All right, so we are back in the car. I just realized that I'm wearing basically the exact same thing today that I wore yesterday, just a different tank top, mom life. We are on our way to go get my lashes filled part of vacation prep and getting ready for a trip means that you need to fill your lashes. So I usually like to go every three weeks or so to get them filled, but I've been going like every 10 days with all of the travel I've had. It's like, I'm just ready for a fill sooner. So here is the before. They actually don't look that bad, but I just need to get them fluffed up. I know that this will not last me through our two weeks in Texas. So this is a before. We'll be right back with the after. All right, and here is the after. My makeup's a little messed up because I had like those things under my eyes. I also feel like I'm coming to after being almost half asleep for an hour, but they look so good and they're nice and full and holiday. There's like one straggler there, but holiday ready and they'll last me for the next two weeks while we're in Austin. So my camera's about to die. I'm gonna head home and then in a little bit I need to go out to Home Goods and pick up some wrapping supplies and I'll keep vlogging. We're gonna make cookies or like cookie bars in a little bit. See you guys soon. I'll check in in a second. All right back home and I am slightly more put together now. Slightly. As you can tell, I have a whole mess of things behind me. I'm getting ready to film a video all about the Christmas gifts that I got for everybody. That will go up on Christmas Day. This is all stuff that I've just like set aside to pack for Texas that I don't want to deal with right now, so it's in a pile. We went to Home Goods. We got some stuff. I got some cute like little gift bags and things to wrap presents with. I'll also be doing a video where I'm like wrapping presents and chatting. These are the little onesies I got at Target yesterday. How cute are these? All these little footed sleepers. This like little three pack is so adorable. And then I got two packs of newborn size hats 
too. When I had Christian, they didn't have hats like this in newborn size. They just did like zero to three months and they all ended up being too big on him. So I stocked up on some newborn ones because I feel like this baby will need some. I love that those will be a little more snug on him. So I'm gonna film this video, then we're gonna make some cookies. And this is the disaster that is Christmas gifts needing to be wrapped. Oh my gosh. Okay, video is filmed. Now it is time to make some cookies. So I'm actually going to be making cookie bars. I'm going to a cookie exchange party tomorrow where we all bring cookies and then um, you like take some from everybody's and you leave with a bunch of different kinds of cookies. But I am feeling so swamped this week with everything going on and just prepping for this trip and work and everything else. So I literally searched on Pinterest for easy Christmas cookie recipes and I found this recipe that are little cookie Oreo like brownie type things. So they look really good and they call for like Christmassy color so it's still festive and fun and it has like five ingredients and says it takes 15 minutes. So that's what I'm looking for. So this is what they're supposed to look like except I'm using holiday colored M&Ms and holiday colored Oreos so I think they'll turn out really cute. All it calls for are Oreos, M&Ms, butter, flour, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and then one egg. Super easy. I may have broken into these a little bit this week already. So it's the next day because I can't just do a vlog in one day. You know that doesn't work for my lifestyle. So it's the next day I'm gonna wrap things up. I wanted to show you how those little cookie bars turned out. So this is what I've got. I think they turned out pretty good. They're not quite as sweet as I expected. I think if I would have used regular sugar instead of brown sugar or maybe regular brown sugar instead of light brown sugar, I don't know. They're definitely really gooey and they taste really good. I just wish they were just a teensy bit sweeter because I'm pregnant and I could use the sugar. So now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to wrap teacher gifts because since we leave in the morning, today is my last day to give Christian's teachers and his daycare providers their Christmas gifts. My makeup is like halfway done as well, but I have to show you guys what I'm wearing right now because this like print and color combo, this is what happens when all your cute clothes are packed for a trip and you're left wearing like just the random little things left over. <laughs> So teacher gifts are complete. Figured I'd show you what I ended up getting them each. This is kind of the little loot. So they each get one of these hot Starbucks cups or hot coffee cups and then a little package with a Bath and Body Works hand soap and hand sanitizer in a little festive 
red and green coffee cup the sephora cooling ipads and then i also included one of our holiday cards that looks like that so i wanted to grab some of these face masks and include a couple of these too but when i pulled them out they actually don't rip out of these packages very easily they kind of get like i don't know sticky and don't look as nice so i'm just gonna take this kit to austin with me and katora and i can do these while we're on the trip all right so i've got my teacher presents i've got my cookies made i'm feeling ready i am going to end this vlog here and then i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow i will have a video all up all about wrapping presents and talking through christmas traditions what i did growing up and then what we are doing with christian as well so that will be tomorrow's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.